finished reading this down to the woods and um i have a few thoughts and i thought i would quickly do a review um as i have been lately but also this is going to be a bit of a rant about my pet peeve with publisher so down to the woods is about a serial killer on the loose in um the new forest and basically bodies start turning up that have been mutilated and um we have a detective who has to find out who has who has done it now um on here the point of my rant i will say is um that it says on the front the sunday times bestseller uh down to the woods nowhere to run nowhere to hide no one to hear you scream so that's what it says on the front on the side it's just got you know the usual stuff that you find on the on the spine and then on the back and this is important on the back we have if you go down to the woods today the last thing tom campbell remembers is camping in the new forest with his girlfriend now he is helpless alone and consumed by fear hunted through the woods by a sinister masked figure when tom's body is found displayed with grisly relish helen grace takes the case but before she can catch her breath a second victim is taken a serial killer is on the loose you better not go alone Something dark and deadly stalks the forest and Helen and her team must race against time to find the perpetrator before more blood is shed. But the hunt will take Helen back into the eerie twilight woods and this time she might not make it out alive. Page Turnley Good from The Times, the new Joan Nesbo by Judy Finnegan and that is it. Nowhere on the surface of this book does it mention that this is number eight in the series. Now that wouldn't be so bad if the book could be read as a standalone which i did however i only gave it two stars and i feel like had i read the rest of all of the series it may have scored a lot higher because the general story of this wasn't too bad um what really annoyed me was that there were constant references to um previous adventures or misadventures that the team had been on um there was mentionings of a team member who had died in the last book um and i had no idea about that because i had never read any of the book um and the that death of the team member plays heavily um as sort of a um a difficulty that one of the characters in this book is struggling with and why her personal life has fallen apart because of the death of this person and it is alluded to quite a lot but nothing is actually said as to what happened how this person died um who the person really was and we have a lot of jutting back and forth between the life of the last ca of the characters and um the things they've been through before uh, mentionings of names that aren't even in this book but no mention of exactly who they were um it was just confusing and had this book somewhere had said that this was number eight in a series i wouldn't have picked it up and that's one of my pet peeves about publishers is sometimes you will get things like this where they will not put on the book that it is number eight in the series or that it is part of a series and i've fallen foul to this a couple of times where it doesn't actually tell you on the book that it is part of a part of a series and there have been some books that have been part of series that i've picked up before and um, they can be read as a standalone so it hasn't actually been that much of an issue but this one i really just couldn't get into it because not knowing the backstory and then being constantly reminded of a backstory i don't know exists it put me in the mind of a soap you know when you sort of switch on a soap that you don't normally watch and for some reason it's on you might be at someone's house and it's sat there and you've got no idea what's going on but there's someone talking about oh well you know last time that we went down the street we were shot at do you remember that oh yeah i remember getting shot at that was really really traumatic because your mum had just died yeah it's really bad my mum had died and it was the same week that the ambulance had crashed into the house and destroyed the christmas tree ah yeah i remember that and the cat caught fire that's right and when you watch the soap it all makes sense and you don't really notice how how silly and sort of out there the plot is whereas when you're reading book eight in the series and people keep talking about these things that have happened in the past and you just think really this, really i just don't don't buy it that amount of things couldn't have happened to you really um and you don't know what's going on so yeah i really wish i had read the, the rest of the series or at least known that this was part of a series someone did tell me when i bought this that this was part of a series but i'd already bought it then i wasn't going to go and buy another eight books um to find out whether whether i liked it or not so overall two stars but if you've read the series you might enjoy it a little bit more and as i've said i've noticed this a few times with publishers that don't always put on the book what the book is um there's one publishing house in particular that i've actually stopped buying their books and i've stopped reviewing their books because 
the amount of times that they're, I'll put that down because that's just heavy, the amount of times that their books told you that it was about one thing and then you've read it and it was about something completely different, you go into it expecting one thing and then the story ends up being something else. Um, and I just find that a little bit sneaky. There's been a couple of times where there's been actually something written um, about a story and I've gone in and it hasn't been mentioned at all within the actual narrative so um, it just seems like occasionally publishers will use certain things to sell a book now I'm not saying that that's what this publisher did this publisher just simply didn't tell me that this was part of a series but I'm talking about that publishing house that I've stopped reviewing their books and um, I've stopped buying their books I, now when I when I buy a book in a shop I'll turn it over to see who has who the book's from um, and if it's from this publishing house, I don't buy it anymore. I just put it straight back down because I have read a lot of their books and I've been disappointed with every single one of them. I can't think of one of their books that I've enjoyed. So obviously it's not one of my favourite publishing houses. But yeah, let me know if you have fallen foul of this before yourself or whether it's just me because I do buy a lot of books but that to me sounded really good it sounded brilliant and when I first started reading it I was really into it because it was pretty scary there was some sort of psycho with a with a mask on that's stalking people through the woods and murdering them that's pretty scary so I was excited but then just as we went through the book it just felt like it was really long let's see how many pages there was because it felt overly long as well 462 pages and I really feel like it could have been massively cut down had you taken out all of the waffle about trying to tie in what happened in the other series it just it wasn't one for me so let me know if this has happened to you because I can't be the only one surely but yeah um and um don't ask me which publishing house it is that I'm not going to be buying from anymore because I'm not going to say because it's a bit rude for me to say I think um so yeah so I'm off now and I'll speak to you all soon bye for now